Okay, folks, can I encourage you all to take your seats, please? You know, I am proud of uh, my ancestry. I am proud of those people who came to live in this part of the world, uh, many of them traveling across from Scotland. I'm proud of the work that they did uh, here uh, to actually bring about uh, a Northern Ireland. I'm proud of those who, who came, uh, stayed for a period of time, and then headed off uh, to America to, to do the work that uh, they did. I think for unionism, how does unionism become inclusive or offer that inclusive vision for Northern Ireland? And it is about, I think, addressing the social and economic, economic inequalities that exist in our society. It's no use of the remaining part of the United Kingdom if we end up in conflict and continually battering our heads off each other. It is actually that we do live in a beautiful part of the world and we have an inherently decent people when you press the right buttons. And so it's how to press those right buttons instead of the buttons we pushed in the past that got us into so much trouble. And actually bring the best out of our people and that way bring the best out of Northern Ireland Inside the United Kingdom, yes, but also we have relations to create and, and maintain with people that we share this island with, and why not? Unfortunately, and fortunately, the focus of political leaders within unionism up until now has been about the peace process and the political process. Unfortunately, I say, because there hasn't been a focus on addressing the disadvantage and the inequalities. I think what we're trying to Maybe the point I'm trying to make is we're trying to, if you like, um, remove you know this bogey man thing about nationalism, and I think the unionists have got to do that with Mary as well. You know, the orange order should be knocking on people's doors in this community. So that's that's in to talk about why we want to march along these roads. Until that point is reached, I think what we have to do as political uh, uh, people is that we have to organise our society in such a way that the divisions that are between us in this part of the island and the divisions that there are between people within the island, that those divisions are bridged. And that there's more cooperation in that place. And that the areas <coughs> where there is cooperation, people know about it.